Welcome back on, on, on part two. There was just a small problem. And so I feel very, very bad and sorry. So I'm very sorry. And I don't even know what happened. But <clears throat> we are back on part two, I guess. So I'm going to take another half. Cut it. And so I need another one like that. I'm just going to fold it just like I did. It's no different. I'm going to take it. I'm going to try to you know, size it up like that. And it's coming to life, guys, anyway. So. Okay, so then I'm just going to put some of that there. And then make it come together. I'm going to put this part under. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to put this under. And then I'm just going to tape it. And I cut off the, the axis, the axis. So it should look like that. So, oh yeah, and, and also you need a, plas a plastic bag, but I'll get that a bit later. Because next, because that's the last thing that we probably will, will do. Next, you want to take your bed for your animal. Take a piece of tape. And put it, and put it into the place where you want it to be. Or what I want to do is I'm gonna get some toilet paper and I'm gonna cover cover the bottom with toilet paper just to make it soft. Okay, I am back. That was pretty quick. I have some toilet tissue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably cut some of that. I'm going to cut it almost the size of my the, the, the floor. If not, if I just can't measure it correctly, I'm going to probably want to just keep on cutting until I know I have something. I think that that's perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna lay, lay it in here, and then I'm just gonna start taping. I'm gonna keep on taping until I know it is secure. So it should look just like that. Next, I'm going to take the tape, just, just like I was about to do. I'm going to fold it. And this is how you fold the tape, by the way. So, And I already have a piece right here. So I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to put it underneath this. And I'm going to put, and I'm going to slide my bed into, into place. And if you want it. Want to? Then you could add the puppy there, or you could add a piece of piece piece of covering on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piece of tissue. I'm going to cut it as small as that. This will be very very hard actually. I'm just going to put it in, and this is going to be a bit of hard. Um, I mean, a bit hard. I'm going to do it just like that. I know exactly what her hiding there. So when she sleeps, it will look like that. I'm going to take, hmm, I may want to try to get something where she could put her food on. But first, I'm just going to put her mat. I'm going to put, and then I'm going to, 
So then I saw where the mat was going to be. I'm going to pick I'm going to pick pick it up for a moment. I'm going to put that little tape there. It's going to be a bit hard though for this because it has a huge little hole right there. But, you know. I'm going to push it down. It's going to be a bit bouncy though. But it's okay. It, it, it should look like this. If it's bounce, bouncing up and the pet cannot stay in there just like that, then you may want to add some tape a bit down. Yeah. Just like that. So we are almost done. Next, what we are going to do is we're going to take this and we will probably put it on the wall or something like that. This wall is a bit blank. And so, I'm going to try to put something there. I'm going to take my piece of tape and include it to the wall. Again, th this is an eraser. An eraser. So, and, th and this is my first time making a hamster cage, honestly. And so... I'm doing a pretty good job. Now we need it's it's food dish and water dish. I'm going to go find something else, and then I then we will be back on part three. Now here is what you have to, you have to do: try to find a food and a water dish. Okay, and I'll see you um, in part three. Bye.